So here's the deal. For years, city and town governments have been able to charge cable companies something called a franchise fee, up to 5% of that cable company's revenue every year. Across the country, cities and towns collected $3.5 billion last year. How? It's because those companies offer their services in the public right-of-way, the cable that runs underground and other infrastructure, that kind of thing. But what about streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus? Some cities say, hey, those services are no different. They should have to pay a franchise fee, too. So Indianapolis, Fishers, Valparaiso, and Evansville have filed this lawsuit and are taking them to court. It's really important, and it's especially important now uh, during the middle of this pandemic where, you know, several communities across the state of Indiana are facing dire revenue challenges. This year, the city of Indianapolis estimates it'll get $9 million. Fees from streaming services would mean even more. The money goes into the general fund to help pay for things like police, fire, and parks. Is this a David versus Goliath thing? I mean, I'm, you're not an attorney, but you study these things. I mean, what do you think the odds are that these cities are going to win this? The, the deck is kind of stacked against the cities. Dom Caristi is a telecommunications professor at Ball State. He says it could be a slippery slope. What about YouTubers? Could they have to pay someday too? A stream of questions and arguments that will soon play out in a courtroom. Dustin did reach out to Netflix, Hulu, and Disney for comment and has yet to hear back. We'll let you know when he does.